Bill Schwab, uh, born in Brooklyn, Jewish. Grandfather was a rabbi on the Lower East Side. What Israel did within the last 24 hours is criminal. They attacked in international waters, which de is defined as piracy, an unarmed flotilla to prevent humanitarian aid from getting to Gaza. And I'm ashamed. And they're using the Holocaust and they're using Jewish history in a perverted way. I think what's going to happen is the international community is finally going to get its act together on this issue of injustice. My name is Jane Jewell, founder of 14 Friends of Palestine. My friend Kathy Sheets is on the boat and I don't know at the moment whether she's alive or dead. She's a nurse and the sweetest person you can imagine. They're using force because they can and no one so far has uh, impeded them from doing so. So the, the, the community and the international community has to become as outraged as it is today. So is this, it's all about control. And if Israel, you know, in their own way of exercising control by using this kind of unprecedented force, that's, that's kind of how they see things, that they have to have con total control over what's going on. I am outraged that members of Congress continue to give Israel arms and supplies and money. It's like feeding drugs to an addict. Israel has devolved into something that is not recognizable as a legitimate state in the international community. When Israel expelled 800,000 Palestinians, ethnically cleansed, 800,000 Palestinians in 1948, we say shame. When Israel killed 1,400 people in Gaza in cold blood, what do we say? Shame. When Israel kills 400 children in Gaza, what do we say? Shame. When Israel kills peaceful demonstrators trying to stand up for humanity, what do we say? Shame. And when Israel says that the international community will be killed if they stand for human rights and humanity, what do we say? Shame. Uh, I heard this morning that about 20 people have died and there are people that I know on that boat. They were in international waters and they were boarded by, with lethal force. They were unarmed. They had only a few things to protect them, to defend themselves, which is what Israel has been saying they've been trying to do for years, is that they're only defending themselves. These people were only defending themselves. My name is Barbara Lubin, and I'm the um, director of the Middle East Children's Alliance, and I've worked in Gaza for 23 years, and um, I was just there about a year ago, right after the Israeli invasion and the murder of um, an enormous number of men, women, and children. And I can tell you that there's very little medicine. There's uh, thousands and thousands of families that still are without housing. Schools are completely de demolished. Every mosque was hit. Um, and you know what I'm thinking today? I'm thinking everybody is surprised by what happened, but I'm not surprised. This has been going on for over 62 years. This is just one more in a long line of uh, outrageous behavior by the state of Israel. And it'll continue till the United States says no more money. It's up to us. Like everywhere in this world right now, go watch the news. You will see the people that are 
going out because they can't accept this. Even I heard like the the the, the statement it was uh, signed by Jimmy Carter, Desmond Tutu, Mary Robinson, all these people. They said that what happened this morning it's unaccusable. You can't justify it, no matter what happened. They, no one can justify. And Israel is clear in the in front of the world right now. They are a war criminal, and they should. The, the international community should bring them to justice to the international court. Of course, no, there is a big humanitarian crisis. I've seen it myself. Um, I went to the Jabalia camps. I went to Khan Yunus. There's people living under poverty line. It's very, it's an extreme poverty. 80% of the population is in extreme poverty. They can't even afford food, shelter, or water. Their water is unsanitary. They cannot even afford drinking water that we take for granted. We just open our faucet and there you go. We have drinking water. Like these kids don't have drinking water and half the population of Gaza are under 15 years old. humanitarian aid to people in Gaza. They were bringing electric wheelchairs. They were bringing toys for children. They were bringing desperately needed life support and building materials. And I just, I feel sick at heart and I feel shocked. Um, it just makes me heart sick. And I keep thinking if Israel had allowed that aid to go through, it would have boosted the esteem of Israel around the world. That would have that would have benefited them, and it would have helped Gazan people. You know, I just as a Jew, as a human being, as a woman, I mean, this I'm infuriated and I'm heartsick, and I just think there's no reason for this. Like, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? I was told by people on the boats that people, the first people dead were stabbed. They said that the the, the uh, commandos came with helicopters, dropped ropes, boarded the boats. Like people I know who have been to the West Bank and Gaza said that the scene on the boat was just. Just disgusting, like people were screaming. Uh, I don't know, I just can't believe it. Hopefully, Obama will finally do something, but I doubt it. This is really inexcusable. This is an act of stupidity beyond my, any imagination I have thought Israel was capable of. And I am just still in disbelief. Still in disbelief. I, I, I have no words to describe what I feel at the moment. It's. I am confident, I believe, that on the long run, this is as damaging as the Israeli government and to their impunity policy as anything else can be. On the short term, they might be able to get away with it, spin it somehow, control the media, manage to get away with minimal sanctions. But on the long run, they are losing this war. It's so unfortunate that people had to die for this to happen, but we have to make sure that their deaths weren't in vain and that this does mark a turning point in U.S. policy.